Hi there, my name is Jake Kurgan. I'm with Southern Illinois University Carbondale. And tonight we're making some goose Italian, Italian goose. So it's just a good way to take all the gaminess out of the meat. We get shot 15 geese today, so we have a lot of breasts that we're able to cook tonight. And what we're doing tonight is just a big prep. So in the morning, we're gonna go hunting again. We can just throw it all in the crock pot, start it, and when we come home, we're gonna have lunch. So right now, Ross is cleaning up the goose breast best he can, just kind of getting all that extra skin off. And then the guys down there are cutting up the onion and the celery that's gonna go in the crock pot. It does also require two bell peppers that are right here. And then the other ingredients is Worcestershire sauce, crushed red pepper. Uh, it does ask for some sweet pickle juice, uh, pepperoncini, and then your mozzarella, and provolone, and Italian seasoning. And we're gonna serve it up on these deli buns. We do this to just to kind of take the gaminess out of it. Uh, they do have a, like a pretty gamey smell to them. And this just really slow cooks them and gets them tenderized throughout the day. We're gonna cook them for about eight to 10 hours tomorrow, just so we have a good lunch when we get back. So we're coarsely cutting the onion and the celery. It does require three stalks of celery and one whole onion. And we're coarsely cutting them because they'll break down over the eight to 10 hours that we're cooking them. And the four goose breasts will just soak up all those juices in the eight to 10 hours that we're cooking them while we're hunting tomorrow. <laughs> A little bit rough. <laughs> a little bit rough. God. <laughs> that onion's strong. <laughs> Woo! <sighs> so now we're gonna throw in two packets of Italian seasoning and with the duck or the goose breasts, and we're gonna let them brine overnight. Put the lid on here and go straight to the fridge for overnight brine. You open that for me, please. Good morning, we're back here at it. We just cut up some pepperoncinis, cut, took the stems out of them. Now we're gonna add the pepperoncinis and all those other seasonings and our vegetables to our Italian goose. All right. Oh yeah. Add these in, kind of just throw out. Then it says to use half the jar of pepperoncini juice. Then it has us use some sweet pickle juice. It says roughly two tablespoons. Then it has us throw another Italian seasoning on top. I'll throw our vegetables in. Here we got the celery. Red bell pepper. You got a spoon or anything, Ross? We can kind of stir this up. Here we got our onion. And last, our green bell pepper. And it says to season for flavor with the crushed red pepper and salt. So we 
Yeah. Perfect. Get this all stirred in. It's be really good coming about <laughs> noon to one when we get back after hunting this morning. It's nice and chilly out, so it'll be nice to have lunch done when we get back. It's got all of Ross's favorite vegetables in it. <laughs> Take it over here. Locker in place. There for 10 hours. And there we go. Should have a great lunch when we get back. <laughs> Let's go kill some geese. Good morning, everyone. We're here in central Illinois, uh, an hour and two hours north of Springfield, and we're setting up for some ducks and geese. Uh, scouted this field last night, and we hunted it yesterday. Uh, I think the birds are just all, they were acting weird yesterday. There wasn't really a specific feed or anything they were going to. So we're gonna try and traffic them here in this field. And it's a field we hunted yesterday and we did really well. Even after we were done hunting, there's birds still landing in it. So I think we got a good chance. Gonna have to be a little more aggressive with the calling and flagging today and work them a little harder. But I think it'll be a good day. It's about 15 mile an hour wind, 25, 30 degrees. It's supposed to warm up a little today. I think we got a good chance. We're just gonna have to work a little bit. Oh, I think it's going to be a good morning. It's nice and cold. We, we're kind of expecting some warmer weather today. It is 10 degrees colder than yesterday, but it doesn't feel like it. This wind's a lot faster than it was yesterday. So this is standing 30 mile an hour winds. Definitely left us with some wind burn. <laughs> Dealt with it all day. Our face is nice and warm. So <laughs> I think we got a good chance. We already saw some ducks flying over, so hopefully we can get them in. What you got there, buddy? The Tetris. They're awesome. <laughs> Amazing. What are your thoughts on after using them yesterday for the first time? It takes about 15 minutes to get used to them. And then afterwards, once you get used to them and you get just used to have them in your ears, um, it's, it, it's so much better. Your ears aren't aching, plus they're not ringing after you shoot or everybody unloads <laughs> their guns. Uh, they're, they're pretty nice, so I definitely recommend them. Today didn't really work out. Ducks or the geese didn't really fly a whole lot. They fed the last two days pretty hard. So I think they're just kind of taking a day off. So we're packing up early. Hopefully better luck next time, I guess. We're cutting it up right now. It's really tender, but it's not quite pulling apart. So I'm just cutting it into little base strips so we can make it into a sandwich. It's cutting super easy, like this knife is just gliding right through it. I don't really have the right utensils, such as a fork, to cut it right, so we're using this pair of tongs and making do with what we have. Yeah, it was just real tough meat before. Um, we started this at 5.30 this morning, and it's about, what is it now, 12.30? So, it could have gone a little longer, but we're hungry, it's time to eat, so we're getting her done. Yeah, so we can get on the road and Get home this evening, eat another dinner. Now that's all done, make a sandwich. Also, made some green beans to go along with it. On the bottom here, there we go. Grab this, grab a couple of those. And just grab a couple pieces of this and lay them out across that bun. Peppuccini or two on there. Get some cheese. 
Just douse it however you feel. There you go, you got an Italian goose sandwich. Nice and tender. Nice and juicy. Good stuff.